ahead and throw that in the back of the trailer. We'll bolt it down. Yeah, that's good. We need the tire, the jack, the tire. We need to fill the mini truck up. We need to get everything put together, ready so we can handle the business. Okay, cool. Place to say something that they miss about Kiki and that they love about I think that'd be nice. You know, when we first moved here five years ago, we really didn't have anything. No. And I don't just mean like we didn't have electricity or running water or a house, but we quite literally had sold everything off and just kept our tools and our clothes. And yes. it was just the five of us. And then it was Chuck and it was Binks. Let me give her yes. some of these. Oh, some flower petals? Yeah. That's beautiful. Binks, along with Chuck, have pretty much been with the kids their entire life. Their whole lives. Yeah. 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 So they were the last pieces of home that we brought with us here. Mm -hmm. And losing Chuck was hard enough, but now we've lost Binks. And she was really like the last piece of our old life that... Yeah, so it's like an end of an era from where we came from to now. Everything we brought with us that was part of our family. It's just the five of us out. There you go. All right. There we Have a secret spy? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe they've been hiding those all the time? The whole time? They're good little hiders, huh? Here, I can move this out of the box. Yeah. So it turns out that the chickens I guess they pushed out their nesting boxes a little bit and some hay got kicked back there and they decided instead of laying eggs in the nesting boxes, they would just go behind the nesting boxes and we lay got eggs. Six. You got six? Oh yeah. And we've got company. Dexter showed up. <laughs> Hi there, big buddy. What are you doing, huh? <laughs> so we're down at Chicken Coop today. We have a few issues. No major issues. I've been acting like it's a major issue for about three and a half, four years now. I've been putting band-aids on it. And by I mean band-aids, I mean plugs and fixes and air and a simple fix. It's time for us to take care of this old tire. You guys may have seen this. I drag it around like that a lot. Now it's time to get this thing fixed. So I bought a cheapo $65 manual tire changer. I'm gonna take this rim, put it on there, pull that tire off, put a new one on, and hopefully we never have this problem ever again because we have that. He's <laughs> gonna give you a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> How's his breath smell? Stinky! <laughs> you bet. Complex heart, and I don't mind. That girl, she's like the that jump down that. Yeah, she ain't going nowhere. She's good. I don't know if you guys remember or not, but Aaron and the boys framed up the entire floor for this thing. How was that work? <laughs> <laughs> Ellie was just a baby. Uh huh, it's like the same thing. Just twist it, Haiti. Keep mind, don't smash your knuckles or hands on anything because it'll, it'll hurt. Yeah. Hey, 
Okay, grab the board off the. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. Here you go. Spread it out. Let me know how much you need, okay? Uh -huh. I'll start putting it right here so you can just walk out that door, right? Okay. So the goal is to get the coop to where it is mobile again without just kind of being a little bit of a disaster. Without dragging it. Without dragging it. That's the issue. And we're actually going to haul it up onto the other side of the fence and into the garden. And that way Ellie is going to be able to come and collect eggs on her own because right now she's having to come out into the pasture and somebody has to go with her because it's just too dangerous with all of the livestock out here we've got rams we have a steer and it's just not something that she can do on her own and we want to give her a little bit more independence and the only way we're going to be able to do that is by actually moving this coop up into the safe zone <laughs> we'll see we'll put it there you gotta bust this bee right here because it's attached it sticks to it, so we gotta bust it off. Mm. It's off hard. Get it? Hold it. Hey, the busting throat. There you go. It. We got it off. So, the bead's busted, uh, so the tire's ready to come off the rim. We have our new tire right here. It won't match the rest, but you know, all I need is one. <laughs> so, we're gonna take that off, we're gonna put it on top, get the tire off, and work this guy on. And, uh, that's where the hard part's gonna be at, I think. We'll see. That's Never done before, it's my first time. <laughs> His tail. <laughs> Got it. Put on top. There we go, perfect. Yeah. Pull this up again. That's it. Nice. So, there's a new tire seal on that rim. That's the question. Because if it doesn't seal, I'm gonna blow it up and it does, and it inflates, give it a day, it's gonna go flat again. Ew. So, we'll see. It could be the, I might need a new rim also. Who knows? All right, let's do, I think we should just do the same thing, I guess, right? Hi, Leon. Hi, Lily. How you doing, bud? You hot so bad? Uh, well, Woo. Nice. Let's go do that again. You want to try this, Haiti? Yeah. Push like this, we're going to work around that, okay? And I'll help you. You push down, you push. Hey, good job. Keep going, keep going. Come on, go. Yeah, good job. Did you bring your whole crew with you? Huh? <laughs> Nice. Nice, 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 nice. That's it, it's on the rim. Now we got to uh, so put water on the bead real quick, put some air in it, and hopefully it inflates and holds. But, that was fairly easy. That was, an, that was our first time that went very easy. Pulling the old tire off is easier than putting the new tire on. But, we got it, we're gonna fill it up with air, put it on, and we're back in business. We got pressure. Oh, it's getting hard to push down. How's the inspection going, good? <laughs> You're this proof, is right? completely like not normal. <laughs> yeah. Like what is going on? This Leon's here. This Lily's here. here. She loves me so much. Oh, I know she does. She yeah, the tire. You take such good care of her. You keep yeah, out of the tire, huh? Come here, guy. Come on. Hi, Lily. All right, doors close around 5.30, so we'll move the coop. Okay. That's a win. That's a win. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job.
We're at the cafe today, guys, and our whole house battery backup system arrived. I'm super excited about this. As you guys remember, we installed this uh, manual transfer switch on the after show, and today we're gonna connect the Anchor Solix F3800. If power goes out in town and there's no electricity, we run the risk of all of the food and the refrigerators going bad. And as cafe owners, that's kind of a big deal. So we're going to prevent running into issues due to a power outage by having the largest power bank Anchor has ever made here at the cafe. The Anchor Solix F3800 is going to be on hand and ready to go here at the cafe at all times. With this power bank, we're going to be able to back up almost the entire cafe with just that one singular battery. But if we need to, we can always plug in our expansion battery and extend our power from 3.8 kW to 26.9 kW. That's a lot of power. What we have here is our main transfer switch. If we lose power, all we gotta do is change from line side, push up to generator. We take our cord, we're gonna plug it into our outlet on our transfer switch, and then tie it into the Anchor Solux F3800. The reason why this thing is so cool, you can pretty much run anything in your house all at the same time. Microwaves, wash machines, dryers, refrigerators, freezers, air conditioning, and in our case here, it's gonna run all the lights and all the essential equipment here if we do have a power outage. This unit has 6,000 watts of output power. It has six plugs on the side, including two 240 volt plugs that are powerful enough to charge an EV. Plus it has three USB-C ports, two USB-A ports, and accepts up to 2,400 watts of solar input power. We can stay powered for up to seven days if a storm knocks out power, and we can plug into solar panels to recharge. As Josh mentioned, the Anchor Solix F3800 is a standalone battery, so we could literally just plug appliances like refrigerators directly into it, but we're actually plugging it into our generator inlet box and letting it power our whole cafe on its own. The Anchor Solix F3800 is a lithium iron phosphate and can handle daily use for up to 10 years. Right now we're in line mode. That shows we're coming from grid power. We change into generator mode. In our case, not a generator, but the Anchor Solux F3800. So if we do have a grid down situation, we still have power here at the cafe. If you're interested in the Anchor Solux F3800 as a solution for your home or RV, don't miss the limited early bird discount of 35% off and more. We'll leave a link for you in the description box below. So if I think of the light, We'll do one per bay. I think we just put them on the inside. Yeah. Right there. And face it that way. Oh, yeah. Done. And it'll just shoot light that way. It's like a light the entire thing up, but for us to come through here at night, hit a switch. We have light down here. We can do what we need to do. Smooth so eyeball center. The barn is not square, so there's no need to have the light perfectly center. <laughs> <laughs> So I have four strip LED light fixtures. It's gonna be plain enough light. So we're gonna do one light per bay. We're gonna go roughly center of each bay, screw it to the wood, and then uh, we'll get them all wired up. We'll pull MC through everything. And we'll probably put a switch somewhere in here. Erin and I need to discuss that where she wants to put it out exactly, but we'll probably in that area. So once that's all said and done, we'll pull some more MC up to where the solar is at. And we'll tie it into the inverter upstairs and then we'll have light, which is going to be nice. This has been a task I've been wanting to do for about five years now, probably six years. Right when I got here, we're like, we got to put lights down here in the stalls. And uh, we got solar in last year. Now it's the best time to do it. Set lights up. We'll go through, get them all up in the air. We'll come back through and then wire everything up and we'll snap them all back in and uh, turn them on. I don't know if you want the lights on the inside, like in here or on the outside, but I think if we put them like somewhere along this, this post and up high enough to where they can't scratch your head on it. I agree. I think we'll just do the inside. We're we'll pulling MC and it's going to be uh, a lot less water going on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, throw it there. That's good. One more, we'll start pulling wire and tying them all in. So I have 12 2 MC, I'm pulling from light to light. It's gonna go to the switch also. And it's gonna go upstairs. It's gonna go to a 20 amp breakers up there. I'm gonna wire it all up and we're gonna be good. Black goes to black, white goes to white, green to ground, green goes to green. Very simple. Easy, easy, easy. This one is done. And I'm hoping, and I'm thinking, we should be able to get them all done before dark. We'll see. <laughs> it's gonna be close. Thank you. 
As I mentioned, we have four lights, one for each bay. I just got my switch box mounted up and the MC popped into there. So the next step for us to do is for me to go upstairs, drop MC down to Aaron. I got it. She can pull over to this box and we can get everything wired up. The sun's going down. We're burning daylight. So we gotta put pep in our step to get this thing done. So once the wire is pulled, we wire, hit the switch, we have lights. Each of our four lights draws 32 watts, so it's not that much. Um, the battery we have for the solar is a 5kW. It's not a huge battery, but for inside the barn with the four lights up here, four lights down there, it's uh, not that much power. So the 5kW battery is plenty enough power to run this barn. So I'm gonna open everything up. We're gonna take our hot, our neutral, and our ground. I'm gonna plug the wires in and we're gonna fire it up. Ah, <laughs> that's nice, huh? It's really nice. It's not, that, it's not that dark outside yet, but once it gets dark, it's gonna be amazing in here. Yeah. But it's still, a... it's like, it's luck. I, I'm surprised at how much light there is, actually. I'm not. I'm not. It's okay. Yeah, they're nice. Has anybody ever told you that you're my favorite electrician? Yeah. <laughs> It's good. We're definitely in a better position for winter. Oh my for goodness, sure. yes. And it, it honestly felt kind of good to uh, just be outside just doing stuff on the farm. Yeah. Oh yeah. It makes the world a difference too. It does. Because this has been lacking. This, is, this needs to happen years ago. <sighs> Alright, let's pack it up. You don't need anybody to come with you. You're going to be safe now. <laughs> I feel a little scared. Oh, it's fine. You can collect fresh eggs every day. Yeah. Maybe we could check tomorrow with Annie. Of course. Those are good. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go.